Welcome to Drunk Bible Study. This show's mission is to read every single word of the greatest story ever told. A warning to our listeners, the hosts of this show are sinners, but they're doing their best. There will be drinking and there may be some swears. They did say they'd try to keep it clean, but I wouldn't put my money on it. I'm Emily, and this is Drunk Bible Study, where my good friends Dedeker and Jace teach me, a born and raised atheist, all about the Bible. So, Jace and Dedeker, how are we doing today? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I just had a lovely, lovely traditional English fry up, huh. as it were. Yeah. Oh, I always like to pronounce you know. it fry em ups. Oh, a fry em ups? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a traditional English breakfast. It's quite nice, quite filling. Yeah, I thought that I'd kind of load up on the greasy, heavy, breakfasty foods to balance out the extra drinking yeah. that's oh, happening that today. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Good, nice. good thinking. Well, well that's I'm the thing is, in okay, because I'm in Singapore right now, and so that means I have to drink in the mornings, which basically means the rest of my day is shot. So you're yeah. welcome. Um, <laughs> I've learned my, I've, well, apparently haven't learned my lesson because I can't even tell the number of times that I've still tried to be productive after recording Drunk Bible Study in the morning, and it's just... It's a yeah. non-starter. It's yeah. really a non-starter. Bad news. Yeah. Starting when your I day have... with two beers is just like doesn't <laughs> set you up for a lot of productivity later in the day. I mean, yeah. I'm about to have to do exactly that in Shanghai mm -hmm. too. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm trying mm -hmm. to remember last year. I think I went out, you know, afterwards and went sightseeing and stuff. But yeah, it, it you know, you can't do anything particularly productive, but maybe go no. out and like have some fun. That sounds cool. <laughs> yeah, definitely hard to do anything that takes a lot of like mental effort or a lot of willpower because those things kind of get uh, right out decreased the window. significantly. Right yeah. out the window. Yeah, yeah I definitely 100%. just want to like, go to bed right. after this. What do we remember from last time? All right, so more decrees, more rules, more things about women but, and men uh -huh. and tribes <laughs> at the end of it that, you know, were on mountains and that oh, was uh -huh. fun. Um, yep. we yeah. stood on mountains and we did a little like, uh, you know, uh, the hills are alive, sort of singing the exactly. amens about yeah. all of the things. And women the were unclean and then there were shoes that were thrown. Whoa. That was cool. <laughs> I enjoyed right. that. If you didn't want to marry your dead brother's wife, she had to throw your shoe away and then spit yeah. in your face. Now, yeah. was it was it only if he died or also if they got divorced or were there other no, reasons? No, I'm pretty sure it's just I think it's if just he died. Dead. Just yeah. if he dies. Okay, got if it. If you yeah. divorce them, then you're, you know, you're out of the family. You're out of the family yeah. entire if life. If you've determined okay. a woman to be unfit or some reason, you don't want to pass her off to your brother, I nah. assume, unless you want to sabotage them in some way. Whoa. Yeah, well, I mean, we've got lots of brotherly rivalries going on, so I was like, mm, maybe that's a strategy. That's true. Yeah. That that true. true. What does that say about, like, siblings in general? I don't know. That's fascinating. I mean, I'm glad my brother and I, both of my brothers and I get along pretty well, so yeah. I'm pleased about that. No one's stealing anyone's birthright, because it's no. mine. Uh, <laughs> you are the oldest. <laughs> yeah. Look at you. Oh, wow. you're the one who has to defend that birthright the most. Then you stand. Yeah, that's true. You know, you have the most to lose if, potentially. Yeah. Maybe we all get along because I just have such a strong hold on that birthright that like no one thinks they could contest it. So oh, there's wow. no like rivalry. Wow. You know. All right. And maybe but that's... really, maybe though, what's happening is is your younger brother has just been plotting all these years, trying to come up with the perfect disguise. Mm. You know, the bright, the right texture of goat skin. To put on Dang. his arms. So right, then... waiting for her dad's sight to just <laughs> yes, decline to a get little bad more. Just yeah. enough. <laughs> right, that makes sense. Just take <laughs> off his glasses and you'll be good. Right, yeah, find actually, a perfect probably. place to hide his glasses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And then nobody will ever know. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, what are we drinking this time around? I mean, I'm drinking my same thing, so. I'm still drinking my same Corona, so I don't have anything interesting to say. So y'all have more interesting things to say. Well, since I'm the only one of the three of us who's drinking anything interesting today, uh, I'm going to talk Just about different, this. different, different than last time. Oh, right. Yes. Different from last time. Y'all are just doing It's the still same thing interesting. Again. I love this interesting compugé. Oh, right. Camp the camp, 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 camp
Uh, so can't this, forget that camp again. Yes. Yeah. Who? This one, honestly, I picked up at the store just because I liked what it said on the label. Um, it's a it's a pale ale, and I'm drinking it. And it's it's all right. It's tasty. It's nice and you know microbrew pale ale. But what I like is that it's the I think it's Moonraker Brewing Company. There's like a planet in the place of where the O O N. So maybe it's just M Raker. Is that or, like a lilac, like a lilac color? Or am I, what am I looking at? Or is, no, it's no? just sort of like tan with green on it. Very oh, okay. earthy tones because the name of this beer is the There Is No Planet B Pale Ale. Oh, oh I love that. Isn't that clever? I yeah. thought that was cute. So it's uh, proud to be part of the solution. So they're kind of oh, into this sort of nice. eco-friendly kind of thing. I just like that There Is No Planet B is a cute, uh, yeah, cute yeah. little name Very for cute. a pale ale. Very yeah. cute. Absolutely. Is it is a delicious pale ale though? Yeah, it's nice. Honestly, I probably won't buy it again. But, uh, but it's nice. Yeah, pale ales are like whatever. Well, yeah, I'd rather for just... blonde if I'm going to have something that light. But yeah. Right. I prefer a beer that. Beer elitists. That, Ugh, I you prefer beer, a beer that challenges me as exactly. I drink. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the Bible challenges me as I read it. It definitely does. Indeed. So, what are we reading today? Speaking of that. Today, we only have two chapters, but the Whoa. first one is very long. Okay. So this is Deuteron- De- Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy twenty eight and twenty nine. Uh, so we're gonna split up the first one because it is super long, uh, and then we'll go on to the next one. So with that, we want to remind everybody at home to read responsibly and drink responsibly. You can drink along with us, or you can listen to us while you're in the car. But please do not do both at the same time. And with that, Deuteronomy. 28. It shall happen, if you shall listen diligently to the voice of Yahweh your God, to observe all his commandments which I command you this day, who Yahweh your God will set you on high above all the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on you and overtake you. Wow, overtaken by blessings. <laughs> and coming. If, <laughs> if, if you shall listen to the voice of Yahweh your God. We kind of went in a circle there. We started, yeah. if you yeah, listen, yeah, yeah. you get blessings if you listen. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Oh. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body. Wink. Oh, is that like, blessed be the fruit? Of, well, usually it's the fruit of thy womb, I think is the phrase uh, uh, that you're probably used to hearing. Well, is that not what this is? The fruit well, of okay. your body? Normally, I like, think it might be. Uh, blessed yeah. be the fruit of thy womb is part of like the Hail Mary. That's probably, I think that's well, probably the pop culture reference that you're picking up on, which that spe- mm. specifically is referring to Jesus. But this fruit of your right. body, yeah, it's probably the fruit of your womb. Probably okay. the kiddos that you have. Yes. Cool. Little kitties. So blessed oh, shall be the kitties. fruit of your body. The babies and the fruit of your ground, the grapes, and the fruit of your animals, the kitties. also babies, also kitties and babies, <laughs> the increase of your cattle, and the cowies, also, cowies. Also, also babies, and, the and, cowies. and the young of your flock, the, and the geeselings, oh, or geeselings, I like that too. Uh-huh. <laughs> Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading uh, trough. Are you the breadies? The breadies. Blessed (laughs) shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. All right there. All right there. All around blessings. Yahweh will cause your enemies who rise up against you to be struck before you. Whoa. They shall come out against you one way and shall flee before you seven ways. Whoa. Uh, Such a disorganized retreat. Gracious. Yeah, they're just going to panic and just... Yeah, they're going to pivot and panic and go everywhere. Yeah. Yahweh will command the blessing on you in your barns. Barneys? And Multiple barns. Barneys, barns. Yeah. <laughs> And in all that you put your hand to. And he will bless you in the land which Yahweh your God gives you. Yahweh will establish for you a holy people to himself as he has sworn to you. If... You shall keep the commandments of Yahweh your God and walk in his ways. Got to throw that in every now and then. Yeah, Yeah, don't even think about not doing it. Yeah. All the peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of Yahweh and they shall be afraid of you. Of course. What what is it? All all people shall hear and fear? Yeah, everyone hear and fear. That's it. Yeah. Hear and fear. 
Is Drunk that a Bible thing? Study. Is that that's our that's our slogan? Drunk Bible yeah. study colon all people shall hear and fear. Colon. Colon. Yeah. Yes. You got it. Cool. Y- Yahweh will make you plenteous for good in the fruit of your body and in the fruit of your cattle. Do we? Uh, okay. Yeah. We, we've done do, this already. What? Do you want us to drink? I mean, <laughs> yeah, do you want us to reiterate, do. Do you want do us want to reiterate the, to the babies and the cowies and the grapeies yes. and all yes, the things? Please. please I'm okay. drinking. I just like that plenteous is a word in mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Yahweh will make you plenteous for good in the fruit of your body. Yeah, babies. With babies. And in the fruit of your cattle, the cowies, the cowies. and the fruit, <laughs> the fruit of your ground, grapes, groundies. Oh, grapes. <laughs> <laughs> groundies. What about wheaties? You could do wheaties oh, yeah. also. Well, oh, yeah, wheaties. wheaties. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a very nutritious breakfast. <laughs> yeah, so breakfast of champions. Yeah, in, in the land which Yahweh swore to your fathers to give you. Yahweh will open to you his good, good treasure in the sky uh, uh, to give the rain of your land in its season. Uh, the, I see the rain is the, the treasure of the, the sky. The treasure of the sky. <laughs> and to bless all the work of your hand. I'm going to call you, it that <laughs> next time it rains. Look yeah. at the treasure of the sky. Okay. We've got lots of treasure of the sky here in Seattle, so yeah, we're good yeah, to go. Right. It, you are plenteous indeed. Yeah. <laughs> plenteous indeed. And to bless all the work of your hand, and you shall lend to many nations, and you shall not borrow. Oh, yeah, we covered that before. No no borrowing. Oh, yeah, you can't do that. Remember, who was it that kind of started that trend? Was that Joseph or, or Jacob Abraham or, or Jacob? Or someone? I, think Joseph, I thought Joseph was the one who like Abraham? bought up all the land from all these people and was basically like, I'm just going to own it and I'll just rent it to you. But right, no borrowing. No, it was uh, it was Abraham who yeah, was, was Abraham. like, I'm not going to borrow from anybody. Remember with the the plot of land where they of would course. bury all their family. How can I forget? <laughs> we covered it several reiterated times. It six times. How can I forget? <laughs> right, but he would not take it as a gift because that would be like borrowing. He had yes. to buy it. He had yes. to pay a fair price so that he uh-huh. owned it and for sure. Have jerseys. the receipts and everything. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you shall not. Oh boy, I've skipped ahead a bunch. <laughs> optimistically. Yahweh will make you the head and not the tail. Uh, mm, okay. Yeah, you know, a dog yeah. chasing its tail. I have yeah, no idea uh, what uh, metaphor we're yeah, going for. You're here. not going to be an ass. You're going <laughs> to be a brain. Okay, I like that. Yeah, and you shall be above only. Uh, I see. And you shall be above only, and you shall not be beneath. If you shall listen to the commandments of Yahweh your God, which I command you this day to observe and to do them and shall not turn aside from any of the words which I command you this day to the right hand or to the left to go after other gods to serve them. No, sir. But no, no. but it shall come to pass if you will not listen to the voice of Yahweh, your God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day that all these curses shall come on you and overtake you. Oh boy, here, let's hear about all these curses, shall we? Do you suppose these are the the some curses that were being listed off by the tribes on the other mountain? Just uh, are... Do you think it's their duty? To, is it their duty to mete out these curses in some oh, sort of I... official capacity? I thought they were just sort of proclaiming them so that, the, you know, like magicking them into existence. Oh, like these are things that exist. So so be careful and don't do these things to bring them down on you because they exist now. Something like that? Yeah, like we've we've cast the curse spells, but they've got, but they've like they have a trap on them, you know, so it's Classic. like if you no. disobey, then the curse trap springs. <laughs> really made up a whole mythology about yeah, how magic works. Yeah, you really works. have. <laughs> okay. Cursed shall you be. In the city, and cursed shall you be in the field. Cursed shall be your basket and your kneading trough. So just all the stuff that we just talked about, like, it's not going to be good. Here we go. Bear with me. Cursed shall be the fruit of your body, the babies, and the fruit of the ground, the grapes, and the increase of your cattle, the cooies, and the young of your flock, the sheepies and or goslows. (laughs) Cursed. (laughs) How sad for him. (laughs) Yeah. Cursed shall you be when you come in, and cursed shall you be when you go out. Yahweh will send on you cursing, confusion, and rebuke in all that you put your hand to until you are destroyed and until you perish quickly because of the evil of your doings whereby you have forsaken me. Okay. We switched into first person there. We were all third person and then all of a sudden You have forsaken me. Yeah. Yeah. Yahweh will make the pestilence cleave to you until he have consumed you from off the land where you go in to possess it. Yikes. Yahweh will strike you with consumption 
oh, no. and with fever and with Jeez. inflammation and with fiery heat. This this is terrible. Yeah, and with and with the sword and with blasting. What's blasting? The, uh, blasting and, isn't isn't that like a blight, right? Oh, is like, it like a wind blight? Like, land, like in the Legend of Zelda. Blasted? Yeah. Oh, see, I was assuming it was like explosions of fire out of the ground, like we've seen before. Well, there's like, that too, but. <laughs> but uh, and oh, I'm sorry. And with blasting and with mildew. So uh, just, just uh, sort of throw that in. <laughs> Your allergies are going to be nuts. Uh, yes, yeah. I, I did. I did look it up, and yeah, blasting is yeah, it's like withered or blighted. Like the uh, land is, yeah, okay. is not, yeah, is kind of not producing the stuff you want it to produce. Oh, so like when someone says like this blasted thing isn't working, they kind of mean it in that context probably of like it's all withered up and not working properly. Like it's and... actually blasted. Yes. Right. So blasted. So mm -hmm. you're going to get blasted and mildew, terrible allergies, and they shall pursue you until you perish. Mm, cool. All, no all, good. Those, all those things will, I guess. No good. Yeah. Your sky that is over your head shall be brass, and the earth that is under you shall be iron. Yeah. Well, that's an interesting image that they've produced for us. Yeah, like this yeah. very brassy ceiling. Very brassy, steampunkish kind of world here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's kind of like, cool, it, actually, but yeah. <laughs> probably not very conducive to growing things. Yeah, probably iron is not going to work so good for that. Yeah, it's like being inside of a like a crock pot that's got a... You know, <laughs> a brass top and an yeah. iron <laughs> bottom. Can you look? Can you look at what other translations say about this? About the the brass and yeah. the iron. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, let's see what we got here. Verse twenty three. Uh, shall be brass and iron, brass and iron, brass and iron, brass and iron, brass and iron. Oh, the message. Uh, no one... Yeah, message. Oh, okay. Message. The sky over your head will become an iron roof. The ground under your feet, a slab of concrete. Oh, weird. Okay, so okay. it kind of flipped it and then created the iron to the concrete. So just that you're going to be stuck at, between a rock and a hard place. There you is go. The image that Perfect. I'm getting. Uh, yeah, Perfect. stuck, stuck uh -huh. between an iron roof and a slab of concrete, as we say. You're going to be stuck in an iron crock pot, as we also say. <laughs> it, is, it is kind of a weird uh, anachronism, though, because I don't feel like concrete existed at the time probably maybe, not maybe i'm wrong but it, that just feels yeah, weird like in an effort to happening. make it understandable you made it but that's just the message feel weird. for you okay, that's the yeah. message for you <laughs> fair enough okay. fair enough it is the the jar jar binks of translations oh. wasn't that the one that it that it was given uh, in the probably in the yeah. comparison Fellowship? to star wars characters i yeah. believe it i think it might have been okay Yahweh will make the rain of your land powder and dust. From the sky shall it come down on you until you are destroyed. I'm sorry. Can I just ask, like, <laughs> is it just you who gets this, like, really terrible bout of weather? Like, just in a little terrible cloud over your head all the time? Like, I don't I know. I think this is the you in the plural sense of the word. Right. Oh, uh, okay. I just like imagine like this one Charlie Brown esque <laughs> character that gets like all this <laughs> crap thrown at him, and like he doesn't get it, you know all of his friends are flourishing and stuff, and he unfortunately right. just is biting off the big one, meaning <laughs> yeah, the that, big that, bad one. I don't know that yes. classic expression we all use. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think this is all, all y'all is what what we should be all saying y'all. Okay, all, all y'all. Yeah. Yahweh will cause you to be struck before your enemies and shall go out one way against them and shall flee seven ways before them. Seven uh, ways to Sunday. On its seven head. ways to Sunday. And you shall be tossed back and forth among all the kingdoms of the earth. I feel like there should be like spooky kind of epic music underscoring this. <laughs> and it's sort of like... Rah. Yeah, well, sounds you know. like it's your responsibility as the editor of this <laughs> okay, to right. make yeah, that happen. Right. So keep on wishing, I guess, to yourself. Yeah. Your dead body shall be food to all birds, every kind of raven <laughs> of the sky, <laughs> and to the animals of the earth, and there shall be none to frighten them away. Yahweh will strike you with the boil of Egypt. Whoa. And I hate with that the... boil of Egypt. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. I have no boils. idea. It just sounds awful. No, remember that he gave him boils was one of the seven oh, plagues. Oh, yeah, there was the plague of boils. Okay. That's right. That's right. Okay. So he's going to okay. do the same thing. Yeah. Cool. And with the tumors and with the scurvy and 
with the itch whereof you cannot be healed. Oh, that's yikes. Maybe the worst of all of them. <laughs> Torture. The itch that never goes away. Gosh. Uh. Yahweh will strike you with madness and with blindness and with astonishment of heart. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> And you shall grope at noonday. That doesn't sound so bad. As the blind gropes in darkness. Oh, I see. And you shall not prosper in your ways. And you shall be no. only oppressed and robbed always. And there shall be none to save you. Cool. More of more of the stick part of the carrot stick formula. Yeah, yeah. We're back. We're back. We're back. And, and we're back. We're back. <laughs> Didn't you take shall... very long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You shall betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Whoa. You shall You shall build a house, Whoa. and you shall not dwell therein. You shall plant a vineyard, and you shall not use the fruit of it. Your ox shall be slain before your eyes, no. and you shall not eat of it. Your donkey shall be violently taken away from before your face. <laughs> oh, and shall not be restored to you. Your sheepies shall be given to your enemies, no. and you shall have none to save you. Dang. Are the sheep like on a saving ex expedition? <laughs> yeah, apparently, well, they're there not anymore. No, no, there's no not sheep anymore. left to save you. <laughs> no more. No, no more sheep heroes to save you. Your sons and your daughters shall be given to other people, and your eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all Jeez. the day. And there shall be nothing in the power of your hand. See, that's what I'm saying. Is this everyone? Is this yes. really everyone? I feel like it's just this one guy that really gets the, <laughs> the short end of this carrot stick. Oh. No, I feel like he's just covering all bases because it sounds okay. like these are all bad things that just... I mean, they're bad things, but they just they've happened in human history multiple times. But right? like People everyone's boils. son and daughter... But that's what I think. I think he's covering all bases. Mm. So it's like for some people, it's going to be their son and daughter were stolen and taken away. Okay. For some people, it's going to be my donkey was stolen. For some people, it was going to be I got these terrible From in front boils. of their face. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. In front of their face. You don't want violently, that. You don't want violently that Violently taken away, too. Not yeah. even gently. Seriously. The fruit of your ground and all your labors, which a nation which you don't know eat up, and you shall be only oppressed and crushed always. So that you shall be mad for the sight of your eyes, which you shall see. That's okay. the first half of this chapter. And Emily, I'm going to oh, pass geez. it off to you. Jeez. No, you're going to pass it off to Dedeker. I'm reading the last oh, one. Okay. Yes. Jeez. Yes. Okay. I got to pick it from there, huh? Yeah. yeah get, I just, want, really give me some gravitas here. I'm just so looking forward to all the different <laughs> terrible places we're going to go. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Yahweh will strike you in the knees okay. and in the legs okay. with a sore boil, whereof you cannot be healed oh, from God. the sole of your foot to the crown of your head. Uh, Wait, oh, is it on your no. knee or is it all the way? Now I'm Strike confused. Strike you in the knees and in, and the, in legs. the legs. Maybe it's going to start there. And then all the there. way up your body. Maybe it's going to start there and then it's going to go and all that's gonna spread, up I and see. up and up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yahweh will bring you and your king, whom you shall set over you, to a nation that you have not known, you nor your fathers, and there shall you serve other gods, wood and stone. See, uh, but the fact that it's you what? and your king, it, it, it is everybody. This is kind of right. saying all y'all as a peoples, if Jeez, you don't do these things, this rough. is all going to go real bad. Okay. You shall become an astonishment, a proverb, a byword among all the peoples where Yahweh shall lead you away. Yeah, we're yeah. back to byword, like back in Job. Back in Job. Right? Yeah, wow. the idea, I, like, I am you're gonna be unbelievably an impressed that you remembered yeah. that. <laughs> well, that was such a cool word. like six months ago, okay? <laughs> More than six was, months ago. Yeah, almost a exactly. Year ago. Exactly. Well, you remembered byword? <laughs> <laughs> I am well, very it impressed. Out. It stood out. You didn't I remember yeah. it? No. Yeah. Were you about to stop us and be like, what's a byword? Possibly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you're not going to tell me? <laughs> well, oh, it, it means like, like, like a, to be a, made a, an example of. Mm, like, yeah. mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. will hold you up as like an insult, you know? Was like, Joe you really... made a byword of? Well, he, he was, was saying worried that he, that he would be. become that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that he's become a byword to the kids in town or whatever. They're like, oh, mm -hmm. it looks like you're going to pull a Job. Yeah. You know? It's like, yeah. you're a byword, Job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
You shall carry much seed out into the field and shall gather little in, for the locust shall consume it. Oh, no. Mm. Yeah. You shall plant vineyards and dress them, but you shall neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worm shall eat them. The wormies? One worm. The wormies. Just you one shall worm. have olive trees throughout all your borders, but you shall not anoint yourself with oil, for your olive shall cast its fruit. Away, well, I guess. Uh, yeah, just what? Kind of, what does that mean? Yeah. Like, olive trees are just going to throw their fruit far, <laughs> far away. <laughs> like, cool. Ugh. Ugh. You okay. shall father sons and daughters, but they shall not be yours, for they shall go into captivity. Dang. All your trees and the fruit of your ground shall the locust possess. The mm, sojourner who is in the, the midst locust, of you though. shall mount up above you higher and higher, and you shall come down lower and lower. He shall lend to you, and you shall not lend to him. Oh, he shall that's be like the rule head. number one. I know. He Don't shall be the head, it. and you shall be the tail. This is, this um, is like an alpha nightmare, like an yeah. alpha male nightmare right now. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just to be the beta <laughs> cuck all over the place. Yes. <laughs> right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Dang. So before we move on to the next chapter, we would like to take a quick break to talk to you about Patreon. So Patreon is a great place to help us out um, help keep the show going. So even one dollar a month um, on Patreon, which uh, you can go to patreon.com slash drunk Bible study and you can sign up to become a patron of ours. And even at one dollar, it really helps us to keep the show going. Um, for six dollars a month, you can become a parishioner. So that means you get access to bonus episodes, which are super helpful and informative to someone like me who knows very little about the Bible and sometimes needs a little bit of extra help. Um, and Jason Dedeker are great about giving me some awesome uh, info onto like things that might be a little bit challenging to understand when I take a first pass at reading the Bible. So sometimes we get things like more in-depth analysis and re research, and then sometimes also we get to listen to things like musicals, Bible musicals. There's a lot of biblical <laughs> musicals out there, there guys. There are a lot. And that's true. awesome because I love musicals and I love getting to watch them with the two of you and then all of you beautiful people out there. So if you want to get in on us watching and listening to those amazing shows, movies, musicals, then become a parishioner of ours. And then finally, at $12 a month, you become a disciple. So you get those you get to support the show, you get all the bonus content, and then you also get ad-free episodes, which is super awesome. You don't have to listen to me gab. And then also, you get them two days early. Like, what? That's so cool. <laughs> you get them before anyone else. So mm -hmm. you're super extra special, which obviously you already are, but you're super extra, extra special. <laughs> so become a patron of ours at patreon.com slash drunk Bible study today. Help us out. Be extra special. And get some uh, some new bonus content as well. And so... Speaking of extra special, we have a goal. We have a goal to build a congregation. We have a con <laughs> we have a congregational goal, and so that congregational goal is we're trying to reach three hundred patrons. And when we reach that goal of three hundred patrons, then we're finally going to be able to start releasing two Bible studies every week instead of just once a week. So that means that you don't need to wait as long between episodes. It means you're going to get more content in addition to like our bonus content as well if you're a patron. So again, help us reach our congregational goal, join our family, join our little not quite churchy family and go to <laughs> patreon.com slash drunk Bible study. And then the last thing we wanted to talk about uh, is just if you could take a moment, a couple minutes out of your day and write us a review on iTunes or on Stitcher. So let me give you the real scoop on this show. This is a difficult show to spread the word and advertise about for us because a lot of social media platforms don't let us advertise a show that has anything about drinking in the name of it, number one. And two, like identifying our target audience is hard, <laughs> right? Because it's this isn't something that's just for Christians. It's also not for like anti-Christians. It's something else entirely. And so... The best way to actually get this out there and for more people to read it is to get reviews from you. To take a moment to leave us a review on iTunes or Stitcher that's going to help other people know what to expect from this. It'll make us more likely to show up on like the new and noteworthy lists or higher in the rankings on iTunes, which is a big way that a lot of people find podcasts. So if you could really just take those couple minutes, that would be huge in terms of us growing this 
which if you think about it, means more people listening to the show, which means more other patrons, which makes us more likely to get to the 300 patrons, which then gets you more drunk Bible study each week. Uh, you know, it's just, again, it's a snowball effect of winning. So if you could take those couple minutes and write us a review, it would make a huge difference for us, as well as spreading the word to your friends and anyone you know who might be into this. All these curses shall come on you and shall pursue you and overtake you until you are destroyed because you didn't listen to the voice of Yahweh your God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded you. And they shall be on you for a sign and for a wonder and on your seed forever. Because you didn't serve Yahweh your God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Because how could you not? <laughs> yeah. By, I'm so excited by, to do these yeah. things. <laughs> by reason of the abundance of all things, therefore shall you serve your enemies whom Yahweh shall send against you in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in mm. want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron on your neck until he have destroyed you. This Whoa. just keeps going. Whoa. I feel like we got the ah. point, Yahweh. <laughs> yeah, we, we get got it. the point. Oh, it's going to suck. Not Follow done. your commandments. Oh he's my not goodness. Okay. Yahweh will bring a nation against you from far, from the end of the earth, as the eagle flies. Whoa. A nation <laughs> whose language you shall not understand. A nation mm. of fierce facial expressions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now it just got comical, ironically, with the fierce facial expressions. Yeah, I just imagine that's that's just these armies of people being like, those for those of you who can't see, that's the that's the sound of fierce facial expressions. No, I got that. Uh, yeah. That shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young, and shall eat the fruit of your cattle and the fruit of your ground until you are destroyed. That also shall not leave you grain, new wine, or oil, the increase of your cattle, or the young of your flock until they have caused you to perish. I have a question here. Is yeah. so okay, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of fighting around these territories currently, around these countries. Are are people not just questioning like, well, maybe God's mad at us and so other people are coming in and claiming it as their territory because we did something wrong here? That's literally that... what this is about. Yeah, no, but I'm saying like, I thought that most people are saying like, well, no, I was here first. Well, no, I'm God's chosen people. Is it because of this line or is it just like people are having their their claim to the throne as it were? Well, okay. I think that you need to tell the people, hey, this is your land. Yahweh has given us this land. This long land belongs to us and our fathers, and it has for several generations. And so that's why it's okay for us to go in and kill everyone who lives here. So you use that story to kind of motivate people to assemble and create armies and then occupy the land. And then if another nation comes along that's stronger than you and kicks your ass... Of course, people are wondering, but I thought Yahweh said this land was ours. And so then you have to have the story of like, well, yes, it is ours, but because we were bad, and it's all your fault. All y'all who, you know, are grinding another man's grain or wearing mixed fibers or whatever. It's because all y'all who didn't follow these laws, that's why we lost all our land and stuff. And so if we do that, then it, it, it's the same line of thinking as why people, you know, when a freaking hurricane knocks out a city people are like oh it's because of the gays you know mm. like it's that same line of thinking that it's like because we didn't follow god's laws god's meeting his punishment out on us it's never attributed to like the weather or well yeah whatever. okay maybe maybe this is getting too philosophical for a podcast that involves drinking but it's making me think about job who we've already referenced once today. Yeah. Where it's interesting that we read Job before this. And I'm kind of yeah. curious if that had gone the other way around because sort of the central premise of Job, right, is him trying to reconcile the fact that all these bad things are happening to him. But he's like, but I didn't do any of these bad things. Yeah. Interesting. And it's kind of like if you're brought up with that sort of system of like, good things happen to good people who do the right things that God wants and bad things happen to people who don't, then what happens if bad things are happening to me and I, I didn't do any of those bad things, which is Job's whole central thing, right? Of like, yeah. I didn't do those things. I, I gave money away. I was helpful. And his friends being like, well, you must have done like something bad. You must bad. have done something bad. Yeah. 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 And yeah. It, and it's it's got to like, be your fault. Like that whole book is kind of this like wrestling with this philosophy. And that's yeah. kind of, uh, that actually makes me right, appreciate Job a little Israelites, more. Right, because if the Israelites 
didn't do something bad, then that would imply that Yahweh doesn't fulfill his promises or Yahweh's not looking out for us. Right. Which essentially is what Job is showing is sort of like, well, it doesn't work that way. Mm. And, and then that God kind of came along at the end and was like, yeah, uh, Job, Job was right. He's cool now. <laughs> it, like, it's it still, <laughs> I'm gonna give still you a didn't get stuff. a satisfying uh, answer there. Just say, mm. Yeah, let's just, won, let's just gloss the over this the <laughs> yeah. and never yeah. talk about this again. <laughs> right. <laughs> but anyway, it makes me appreciate that book a little more as like within the Bible, it's sort of a book questioning some of the conclusions that, that these people came to here, which is actually kind of, okay. I right, think, yeah. more, more interesting yeah, than yeah, yeah. kind of presenting it as this one monolithic thing that's all saying the same thing. Yeah. That's true. All right. I'll allow it. <laughs> they <laughs> shall you. deceive you, you, you in all <laughs> well, your thank gates. You. Until your high and fortified walls come down in which you trusted throughout all your land, and they shall besiege you in all your gates throughout all your land, which Yahweh has given you. You shall eat the fruit of your own body, huh? Uh, the flesh of your sons and your of your babies? daughters, huh? huh? Uh, uh, Whom Yahweh side. your God has given you in the siege and in the distress with which your enemy shall distress you. Okay, we got to look that up because there's no way no one's ever noticed the whole cannibalism thing here. Right, what? What are you yeah, saying, that's Emily? What it says. What's the verse? Fifty. Let's fifty-three. Uh, four, 53. Fifty-three. Fifty-three. Okay, we're gonna look that up for bonus content. Yep. I'm gonna, gonna be going. so distressed that you eat your own babies. Got it? Is that yeah? Yeah. Was that in the message? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Should I? Should I have been looking that up? That was. I don't the, know. It sounded Jace like it could have been the message. The... I think we just got to leave that there. Okay. Yeah. Well. Do you want uh, you want the message? You sure, want let's hear the message. What does the message have to say? You'll end up cannibalizing your own sons and daughters wow. that God your God has given you. When the suffering from the siege gets extreme, you're going to eat your own babies. Wow. So it's almost, that's pretty off. much what I wow. said. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that is basically what you said. My yeah. goodness. <laughs> cool. Okay. Yep. You, the, you now know what the it, it's going to say, like preemptively. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> the man who is tender among you and very delicate... His huh. eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward oh. the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children who he has remaining. Once he so that he sh yet. will not give to any of them the flesh of his children whom he shall eat. Wait. Because he has nothing left him in uh, the siege and in the distress with which your enemy shall distress you in all your gates. I, I'm sorry. Um, am, I, am I understanding correctly that now we're being like, and even this nice guy... He's going to be mean and hoard all of the baby flesh that he's eating and not share it with his other kids and his <laughs> this wife. Is like That's a what horror he's film. Yeah. This is a horror film. Well, a lot of the Bible is a horror film, at least the New Te the Old Testament. I don't know about the New Testament. So we haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> yeah. The tender and delicate woman among you who would not mm, adventure to set the sole of delicate. her foot on yeah. the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Wow. Her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter and toward her young one who comes out from between her feet and toward her children whom she shall bear for she shall eat them for want uh, of all things yeah. secretly in the siege and in the distress with which your enemy shall distress you in your gates. Jeez. Even but it's the mom that gonna she's going to be babies. Yeah, the but mom she's going to do it in secret. Baby flesh. So she oh. doesn't share it, you know? Yeah. She's going to be like, um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Does that imply there would be a silver lining if you did share it? Yeah, it's I think like, like yeah, a good person thing. would share it. A good well, person, least, you know. even though they're eating their own children, they would at least share it with <laughs> their right? wife. Hungry. Good Lord. If you will not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that you may fear this glorious and fearful name, all caps, Yahweh, Yahweh your, your God. God, then Yahweh will make your plagues wonderful, wonderful. and the plagues of your seed, even Ooh. great plagues and of long continuance and sore sicknesses and of long continuance. <laughs> Times two. Oh my God. <laughs> How many more verses? He just keeps, I just laying on with that stick. Okay. He will bring on you again, all the diseases of Egypt, which you were afraid of, and they shall cleave to you. Also every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will Yahweh bring on you and <laughs> everything you that you could destroyed. possibly think of. <laughs> just get ready. Any bad thing. If yeah. I've not covered any bases, just if you can think of it and it's bad and it makes your skin it's crawl, there. that's going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. 100%. Flesh eating maggots. Oh, God. Yeah. We're like flesh eating dads. It was really more what we've been going on about here. Dads yeah. and moms. 
You shall be left few in number, whereas you were as the stars of the sky for multitude, because you didn't listen to the voice of Yahweh your God. It shall happen that as Yahweh rejoiced over, over you to do you good and to multiply you, so Yahweh will rejoice over you to cause you to perish and to destroy you, and you shall be plucked from off the land where you go in to possess it. So Yahweh is going to be having a party either way, <laughs> either. either with you or on <laughs> top of your body. He doesn't need you. Like, yeah. Yeah. He's going to wow. be good. He's just letting you know how good things will be without you. That's okay? just, it's so rough that only a few chapters ago, we really went off this tangent about how much Yahweh loves you. Yeah, well, yeah. it doesn't really. You know, where it's he just loves like, you he loves you good. so much, but he's also going to love to freaking destroy your asses. Yeah, yeah and dance <laughs> on your freaking bones. Yeah. Yahweh will scatter you among all peoples from the one end of the earth even to the other end of the earth and there you shall serve other gods which you have not known you nor your fathers even wood and stone mm. among these nations shall you find no ease and there shall be no rest for the sole of your foot but Yahweh will give you there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and pining of soul and your life shall hang in doubt before you and you shall fear night and day and shall have no assurance of your life in the morning you shall say would it were even? And at even you shall say, would it were morning? Um, for the fear of your heart. I feel like I've heart. heard that before. Really? Who? From whom? I don't know. I, maybe not. But okay. it seems like... Just, is huh. it, well, I wish it were morning. I wish it were evening when it's not or something. I don't know. Maybe not. I wonder if that got worked into like a folktale later or something. That, oh, yeah. yeah, maybe. Huh. Okay. Uh, for the fear of your heart, which you shall fear, and for the sight of your eyes, which you shall see. Yahweh will bring you into Egypt again with ships. By the way, oh. by the oh, okay, <laughs> cool, cool. yeah, <laughs> great. <laughs> so odd specificity there. <laughs> by the way, whereof I said to you, you shall see it no more again. And there you shall sell yourselves to your enemies for bond servants and for bondmaids, and no man shall buy you. Gosh, Dang. Well, you can't even Dang. can't even be a slave because no one will buy you. No yeah. one even Everybody wants hates you. you. Get out of here. <laughs> Well, when you're, if you're covered you. in boils and you're eating child flesh, that's I wouldn't want to buy yeah. that slave either, personally. No. Yeah, yeah, that's no good. Bit. Okay, let's... That was intense. I yeah. really hope that this lightens up a little bit, just a little bit before just the end Just a little bit, we'll see. I, today. I wouldn't hold my breath at all, but here we are in Deuteronomy <laughs> 29. These are the words of the covenant which Yahweh commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab, beside the covenant which he made with them in Horeb. Moses called to all of Israel and said to them, You have seen all that Yahweh did before your eyes in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh, and to all his servants, and to all his land, the great trials which your eyes saw, the signs, and those great wonders, but... Yahweh has not given you a heart to know and eyes to see and ears to hear to this day. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's confusing. Yeah, it is. It's like... So you... You, you did only do all, all these things, things because I gave them to you? Is that what, it, what he means? Something? But, oh, I see. The Message Bible says, but God didn't give you an understanding heart or perceptive eyes or attentive ears until right now, this very day. Oh, okay. okay sure. To Why this not? day. I see. Not to this day, like not up until now. Okay. I would not have Great. gotten that. Thank you, yeah. Message. No, yeah. I have led you 40 years. Oh, he's about to die. I have led you 40 <laughs> years in this wilderness with clothes. <laughs> Your clothes have not grown old on you, and your shoe has not grown old on your foot. Seriously? The shoes I, I guess, and the, yeah. the, sh the clothes have been just fine the whole time? I don't know. That sounds like a miracle. That's pretty cool. I don't know about that, but okay. Pretty useful. I also don't know about that, but it's yeah. pretty cool. You have not eaten bread, neither have you drunk wine or strong drink, that you may know that I am Yahweh your God. Oh, he's talking about... Oh, he's talking about Yahweh. It's Moses talking through Yahweh... Yahweh talking through Moses. <laughs> you always get that backwards. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's one of these two boys talking through each other and they're talking. Cool. Mm -hmm. Here we go. When you came to this place, Sihon, the king of Heshbon, and Og, that big boy, the king of Bessan, ba ba Bashan, came out against us to battle and we struck them and we took their land and we gave it for an inheritance to the Reubenites and to the Gadites and to the half-tribe of the Massonites. 
<laughs> therefore man of the every man, single man, freaking man, time man of why is it really every time i don't know I'd like <laughs> to ask every freaking, time i'd like to ask the patrons of this show <laughs> man ma- man asides man asides man asides every time emily <laughs> I, well, let's take a poll. Let's take a poll, okay? Okay, y'all we'll put a poll in the Facebook group and we'll see what people say. <laughs> Great. Keep, therefore, the words of this covenant and do them that you may prosper in all that you do. Ugh, now he's being nice again. I don't understand. Yeah, he's he, ramping up to the carrot part. Yeah. Once yeah. Okay, yeah. You so stand- it's like a compliment sandwich. Yeah, I... <laughs> Okay, I guess it is, but that that's no, it would be a non compliment sandwich. It would be that the compliments are the bread, but the sandwich part, the meaty part, is the bad part. Yeah, that's how the compliment sandwich works, where I'm like, Emily, you have yeah, such a right. great reading voice and you never say manasites right, <laughs> but you're such a great, funny part of this show. I love it. That's the compliment Thanks. sandwich. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Thanks. Yeah, but there was yeah. the one time that Jace, you were like, okay, I'm going to give you two a compliment sandwich. And you're like, Emily, you did this thing really well. Dedeker, you really sucked at this thing. But Emily, Emily. you really... <laughs> I like that kind of compliment sandwich, okay? Yeah, I forgot what the context was. I, I don't know, but, but it was yeah. not how it worked. I'm glad you understand now how compliment sandwiches work. Uh, okay. <laughs> There, oh, keep therefore the words of this covenant and do them that you may prosper in all that you do. You stand this day, all of you, before Yahweh your God, your heads, your tribes, your elders, and your officers, even the men of Israel, your little ones, your wives, and your sojourner who is in the midst of your camps, from the, from the one who cuts your wood to the one who draws your water, that you may enter into the covenant of Yahweh your God and into his oath, which Yahweh your God makes with you this day, that he may establish you this day to himself for a people, and that he may be to you a God, and as he spoke to you, and as he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, neither. (laughs) I'm sorry. If anyone starts listening to this show not from the very beginning, they're gonna be so confused about why you just like scream, just like screech Jacob at the top of your voice every single time you say yeah. it. Listen, just, if anyone has seen Joseph and the Amazing Technical or Dream Code, they'll get I, what I'm doing. Yes. Okay. okay. Just, just okay. Tell, we should we should have a little disclaimer at the beginning. It's like if you're new to this show, go back and listen to at least the second half of Genesis so you'll understand why Emily screeches all the time. Yeah. Uh-huh. We should make if those were only available to patrons once upon a time. We should make those available to everyone. They are everything is yeah. available to everyone. Oh, okay. Well, listen, listen to them. Listen to, to them. Everyone. everyone. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. Okay. Neither with you only do I make this covenant and this oath, but with him who stands here with us this day before Yahweh our God, and also with him who is not here with us this day (laughs) for you know how we lived in the land of egypt and how we came through the midst of the nations through which you passed and you have seen their abominations and their idols wood and stone silver and gold which were among them lest there should be among you man or woman or family or tribe whose heart turns away this day from yahweh our god To go to serve the gods of those nations, lest there should be among you a root that bears gall and wormwood. We're still going. We're still (laughs) going. The sentence is still going. One sentence, yeah. Yeah. Uh And it happened when he hears the words of this curse that he bless himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace, though I walk in the stubbornness of my heart to destroy the moist with the dry. Oh, uh, boy. What a puzzle. Uh, <laughs> what a wow. puzzle that whole Full long stop. sentence was. <laughs> I'm going to take uh, a drink because I so, need it. <laughs> okay. So, like, so if you're hearing this and you secretly want to follow other gods, but you try to justify it to yourself, being like, whatever, I'm okay. I'm going to keep doing it. I don't care that that's not going to fly. And you're going to destroy the mo- moist with the dry. 
that old yeah, I know. What does that mean, Jace? Well, put, <laughs> put that in your pipe and smoke it. What does that mean? <laughs> put that in your translation machine. <laughs> and pop up uh, something else. I'm actually going to pull up a number of these verses here to see if we can make right. a little bit of can sense. Can kind of parse text. out something. Yeah. Yeah. Gracious. Uh, Gracious me. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's go for maybe 18. So this is the message. Don't let your guard, d- sorry, don't let down your guard, lest even now today, someone, man or woman, clan or tribe, gets sidetracked from God, our God, and gets involved with the no gods of the nations. Uh, come the on, no gods. buddy. Come on, buddy. We All right. Anyway, lest some poisonous weed sprout and spread oh. among you. A person who hears the words of the covenant oath, but exempts himself thinking, I'll just live the way I please, thank you, and ends up ruining (laughs) life. (laughs) And ends up ruining life for everybody. Whoa. Everybody. Dang. Wow. Yeah. Dang, dang, dang. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like it doesn't get any clearer than that. Just, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to destroy the moist with the dry. Yeah, that you know what that should be my expression for any time someone is telling me like oh you got to do it this way I'm like you know what I'm actually gonna do it the way I think is right I'm just gonna destroy the moist with the dry you know and they'll look at me confused and then walk away it'll be great <laughs> perfect yeah okay perfect so Yahweh will not pardon him but then the anger of Yahweh and his jealousy will smoke against that man mm-hmm. will smoke mm-hmm. against that man smoke mm-hmm. it. Smoke mm-hmm. it. And all the curse that is written in this book shall lie on him. And Yahweh will blot out his name from under the sky. I just mm-hmm. like, I think of like all of the awkward stuff that's cursing in this book. It just like crawls out of the book and gets on oh. top of this guy and lies oh. on top of him. Oh, wow. And that's okay. it. That's the yeah, end of that, that would guy. Suck. That would this suck is for the, sure. Now we are into the horror movie territory, right? Where it's oh, not true. only. Yeah. Horror movie level curses, but also they're like crawling oh. out of the book after. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's cool. Halloween time, so here we are. <laughs> yeah, that's Very great. Spooky. Love it. Yeah, it's spooky stuff. Yeah, Yahweh will set him apart to evil out all of the tribes of Israel according to all the curses of the covenant that is written in this book of law. The generation to come, your children who shall rise up after you and the foreigner who shall come from a far land shall say, when they see the plagues of the land and the sickness with which Yahweh has made it sick, and that the whole land of its sulfur and salt salt, and burning that is not sown, nor bears, nor any (laughs) grass, like, oh, oh, not bears. No, (laughs) not like little berry wearies. No, I like this. The land is not sown. There's no bears on it. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Is that really a bad thing, though? Don't you want to be in a land that's bear-free, proud to be? There's no bears. (laughs) But no, okay, like something... Something doesn't bear something else. So, okay, Mm -hmm. no bears, nor any grass grows therein, like the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah. Adam and Zeb, Zeboim, Zeboim. I've never heard of those places. Adma, Zeboim. 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 (laughs) That's a lot of eyes. (laughs) Dear listeners, that's many more eyes than you would expect. Yeah, no, for sure. (laughs) Which (laughs) Yahweh overthrew in his anger and in his wrath. Even all the nations shall say, why has Yahweh done this to the land? done thus to the land what means the heat of this great anger yeah no no crap no poop no shit (laughs) okay the men shall say because they forsook the covenant of the yahweh (laughs) (laughs) emily (laughs) just yahweh (laughs) not the yahweh the god of their fathers which he made with them when he brought them forth out of the land of Egypt and went and served other gods and worshipped them, gods that they didn't know and that he had not given to them. Therefore, the anger of Yahweh was kindled against this land to bring on it all the curse that is written in this book. And Yahweh rooted them out of their land in anger and in wrath and in great indignation and cast them into another land as at this day. 
That is totally. definitely some linguistic roller coaster times yeah, for sure. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna finish this off with verse 29. The secret things belong to Yahweh our God, but the things that are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. Amazing. Do we what just get very metaphorical things? at the end? Yeah, I don't what? know. I want to know what the secret things are. Yeah, what could that possibly be? Is that something well, we look for look bonus content? Yeah. Yeah, maybe oh, okay. we'll, we'll try looking up some of that. But that's, yeah, what a weird, like, I, f I felt like we were pretty literal a lot of the time here. And then all pretty of a sudden literal, it was... Pretty literal and quite graphic. Well, yeah. Yes, that yeah. too. Yeah. Wow. Boy. So a lot of cursing, a lot of really terrible things that are supposed to happen. Yep. You know what, though? I, I did say last time that I felt like things were kind of like, uh, what did I say? Escalating or speeding up or, or kind of getting a little more action packed. And I feel like it followed through because this, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. while, while yeah. being terrible was at least full of imagery and, you know, lots of things and not just. It didn't leave much to the imagination for sure. No. Yeah. It wasn't a lot of the particulars about like. But if also it was the second cousin of the person and then their brother lost his goat, who then was found by the brother's sister and then she married him. You know, it's not that kind of like logic puzzle. It's just real, real clear, real action packed. Yeah. Horror movie wow. stuff. Okay. Well, well where, where would you go from here? Where would we go from Moses, here? Moses yeah. has got to be gone. Ellie is just like gunning for Moses' death. You were so excited for Moses just, to die. Why I'm are you sorry. so excited for Moses to die? It's because it feels like the end of an era. Like we're mm. moving on from this. He's not going to be God's mouthpiece anymore. And instead, God has got to find a new mouthpiece or a new like way in which to express himself. Express yourself. And like, we just got to like go on to something else. Moses has been with us for a long time. You know, that's true. He has yeah, been longer with us for a very, very long other, time. Exactly. Any other character. Yeah, exactly. For sure. I'm, you know, I, it's not that I'm sick of him. It's just that I think it's time. It's mm. time. Uh -huh. That's all. I think he's kind of worn out his welcome a little bit. Is little that bit. it? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Well, we have a lot to look forward to, but before we move on, we need to give a very special toast to our Patreon supporter, Ken. Thank you so much for becoming one of our $12 parishioners, as it were. We are super excited to get to know you a little bit more, and here's a toast to you. Tink. Tink. Oh, ooh, <laughs> There's an aluminum can done. tinking. Oh, that's <laughs> nice, Emily. Nicely done. Thank <laughs> you very much, Ken. I did it again and threw some wine onto the ground. <laughs> oh, wow. you, poured, you poured one out for Ken. Exactly. There you go. Perfect. It's perfect. Well, this, <laughs> this uh, wine poured out is for you, Ken. Well yeah. Done. Uh -huh. Thank you, Ken. Moon, Moonraker beer. There is no planet B. Just planet Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Are we Mormon go. now? <laughs> Put that on a shirt. Uh, we also wanted to let everyone know uh, to come hang out with us in Drunk Bible Study Fans and Fellowship. It's our Facebook group. It's open to everyone who wants to be part of it and join in the revelry and discussions that happen for each episode, as well as also just random memes and things like that in between. And if you would like to get toasted on the show, like our cool buddy Ken just did, you can sign up to become one of our parishioners at patreon.com slash drunk Bible study. We want to thank you for joining us for Bible study today. If you want even more drunk Bible study, including ad-free episodes, early releases, personal toasts on the show, and more, become one of our patrons at patreon.com slash drunk Bible study. If you enjoy the show, take a moment to subscribe, and then you can write us a nice review on iTunes or Stitcher, letting other people know what you like about it. Find us on Twitter at Drunk Bible Cast, on Instagram at Drunk Bible Study, or send us an email to info at drunkbiblestudy.com. Drunk Bible Study is created and produced by Jace Lindgren, Emily Matlack, and me, Dedeker Winston. Our theme song is Book Club by Josh and Anand from their album, Home of the The The. The theme song for the Book of Deuteronomy is Truth in the Stones by Kevin McLeod. For more information, visit us at drunkbiblestudy.com. Thank you.